Okay, so best tides for big flathead. So we'll start off on the high tide. Um, I love chasing fish around those tide changes. And with the high tide, I'll generally fish pressure points. Um, also banks that have a lot of weed on them and I'm fishing those broken patches of those weeds. So those big flathead will sit on those sandy or muddy bottoms. Another place I like fishing for them is out deep as well. So in water depths, anywhere from five to sort of 12 meters. And we're fishing areas that have a lot of structure. So we're not fishing just plain basic sandy bottoms. We're looking for tree stumps, rocks, uh, drop off ledges, um, anything like that, that fish can hide around. And we're also looking for areas that tend to have a lot of bait flying through them. If you've got that bait coming through, those flathead are more than likely gonna be on the chew. So look for areas like that. And the next one we'll talk about is low tide. So low tide's probably my favorite time to target flathead. You're generally looking for areas that have big banks or big coves. And once that water comes off that edge, we can target them in a much smaller area. So we're talking about things like sand and weed edges, Drains are a great, fantastic one, and also the mouths of creeks as well. So what those flathead will come off those banks as that tide pushes out, and we can fish for them quite effectively, and we can also get a good incoming tide bite as well. So as that water starts pushing back up onto that bank or drain, those flathead will follow it with it. So they're definitely my go-to spots on those two different parts of the tide. On those mid tides, it is much harder to target fish, but I'll generally look for areas that have higher level drains, um, also those weedy, sandy bottoms as well. So they're probably my two go-tos in the middle of the tide. All right, so I both like using bait casters and spin gear when I'm targeting big flathead. They generally have their own purposes though, so I'll usually use the spin gear when I'm flicking smaller plastics. Uh, allows me long casts on those lighter weighted lures. And also I like using the high gear model, so if those flathead charge out at me, I can wind it in really quickly and um, get a much better hook strike on it. So that's when I ten generally tend to use those ones. And with the bait casters, I quite like using them for those larger baits. So most of those bait casting rods are gonna have a much higher rating on that cast weight, and I can flick those heavier baits pretty good distances. Okay, so we're gonna go through my four favorite colors when I'm fishing for big flathead. And we're gonna start off on the sexy mullet. So this is a great color in that dirty water because it's got that UV reactiveness and uh, fishes very well. So I'll fish that in deep and shallow. And second on the list, we've got opening night. That's a great clean water plastic. So I'll generally run that in depths up to about two meters. And it's generally on that clean sandy bottom when I'm fishing for them. Thirdly, we've got the pearl. So fantastic color in shallow water. I'll fish that in dirty and clean. I'm able to fish that in uh, dirty water because every time I hop that plastic up, that shot, that sunlight's gonna catch that color and it's just gonna really pop and uh, drives the flathead crazy. And we're gonna finish off on my most favorite big flathead color and that's Gold Rush. So my two PBs have actually come off this color and um, I'll generally fish that in low light conditions and also dirty water. And we've just got such a great black top there and it just pops off a really good silhouette and also that goldy flake bottom as well. So whenever the sun sort of catches that, just puts off a really nice shine. We've also got that really big thumping tail as well. So puts off a lot of vibration and definitely gives that fish the sense of it's a big bait. So it works fantastically. My favorite sizes in the Z-Man Hercules range for flathead are the four inch and the five inch. So four inch I'm fishing in that shallower water and the bigger five inch I fish in that deeper water column. And just with that extra size, it just allows me to keep in contact with it and I can keep that on the bottom in depths up to eight to 10 meters very easily. So some of the key features we have on the Z-Man Hercules are the extra strong mustard hooks that are gonna survive any Aussie species that we can throw at them. 
We also have that nice big tail there as well, which is gonna create a thumping vibration and get those fish excited. And we also have the attachment points below that we can add trebles on or even Colorado blades. We've got those nice big eyes as well, which helps draw that strike away from the tail and it gives them a good strong point to target. We also have the 10 times tough Elastec Z-Man material, which is gonna survive multiple hits and we can catch plenty of fish on that particular lure. 